the only other person who's realized this. Again, I don't know much about EDM. It's one of the my most hated forms of music, mostly because I don't understand how people can enjoy the repetitive format of EDM. The like it's the same fucking flow of the build up the crescendo and then bang the same fucking drop all the time the little fucking vocal edit maybe it's some it's some meme online they fucking clip it they put it as a loop whatever i don't get it the music for me is fucking awful i i'm not a fan of it in the slightest the one thing i don't mind about it is the stage productions i love the shows they invest a lot of money into the fucking production of it so i feel like if you go to the edm show at least for your 50 dollars you're going to get a bit of a show. You're going to get pyrotechnics. You're going to get fucking smoke. You're going to get fucking LEDs. You might get somebody dancing in a fucking cage and shit. It's fucking amazing. I love that bit of it. But the music, count me out. The other thing I noticed also is that these EDM DJs, either they're playing at home in their bedrooms like I do, or they're performing in front of crowds of thousands. There is no middle ground. And most of these guys are also very happy to show their wealth and their success more so than any dj in any other genre i feel like especially in techno techno djs will complain on twitter about shit but you very rarely see them posting about their private jets unless they're like you know business techno people but they're very rarely prep you know, post about their private cars, private jets, about the money they earn in gigs, about what they can buy with that money, where they live. Like they're very, they're very kind of aware of trying to act somewhat modest online and keep it in check. But you know, <clears throat> most successful DJs, especially if you're touring and you're playing at most decent venues, you're going to be earning at minimum, at minimum, 5,000 playing in most places 5,000 pounds euros whatever is a lot especially when you think a lot of the DJs are playing like six gigs in one weekend you can really get paid especially when it comes to festival season you can start playing more in a day and even smack out flipping more sets blah 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 so I want to know courtesy of this clip I took from this guy called John Summit who's on social very very prominent figure actually he does a really good job of promoting himself on social media especially on Twitter where I see him he also has I think one of the most punchable faces in the world not because he's a he's, he, he has a bad attitude he's just got one of those faces that you just want to punch I don't know why it's just maybe the way his mouth moves when he smiles and shit but I'm really intrigued why do EDM DJs seem to be way more comfortable kind of showing off the successes of their career and whatever or the trappings of their success sorry more so than techno djs like what's the deal there because i feel like they're both as rich as each other but these guys don't mind flaunting it as much and this clip is taken from his twitter it features him starting off in bed it's 24 hours in the life of john summit as he's sitting in bed first of all he sleeps with a rolex maybe a cartier bracelet there's some other swanky necklaces here maybe some homer shit so already in bed and plus the hotel room looks really swanky already in bed He's got more on his fucking body than I have in my fucking bank account. On his bed right now. <laughs> right? He's already got like a 30 grand Rolex, uh, some expensive chains and shit. And it's going to get even crazier as it continues. So this is a clip taken from his fucking Twitter. Let's play it. 24 hours in the life of John Summit. First, I ripped some techno in Austin. Then I went to Alabama for hanging out. fans kind of assaulted me but they gave me some squish mellows. look at the crowds look at the crowds look at the crowds look at the crowds smiles on everyone's faces maybe because they're all on molly and shit but still they look happy they're having a good time he's loving the attention and again this is another good example as well i need to mention these edm djs seem to be super friendly i actually see him replying to people in the comments he's replying to people on twitter he's replying back like they ask him a question. Hey, do you have a tune ID? Oh, I saw this. Did you see that? He's replying. Some of these techno DJ guys will leave you on fucking scene asking for a tune ID. Not even guest list. A tune ID. Hey, when's this tune coming out that you played this one time? I want to buy it with my money. I like you. I think you're an amazing artist. Talk to me. Leave you on scene. Won't even open your fucking message. Won't even reply back to you. Whereas this guy is infinitely more successful, has way more money in his bank account, has probably less time to interact, but he's always making the time to just quickly chat back and shit. I see him replying to his fans all the time on Twitter. He's always replying back to them. It's fucking amazing. So it was lit. Then I jetted off to Vegas with my squ Look at that private jet! 
Holy shit! Bushes. Went in the helicopter to go off to EDC. He's in a helicopter. He takes a private jet somewhere and that's like a helicopter to the fucking venue because I guess cars aren't good enough. Cars are not good enough for John's fucking summit. What a boss. So what is the reason? Somebody tell me in the comments as Cardi B says, what is the reason? Why do these EDM DJs feel way more comfortable flaunting their wealth as opposed to techno DJs? Because personally, I'm, I've got to say, I think I prefer this. I think I detest the cosplaying of working class, the cosplaying of underground. Think of all the stick that Peggy Goo was getting. A lot of it is to do with her attitude, and she might be a bitch, she might be a cunt, who knows? But there's plenty of bitches and cunts in the DJ field. We can't just point her out to be the worst one. She might have a more funnier story, but, you know, she's not, she's not fucking unique in that tale. But I think the one thing that really got under people's skin with Peggy Goo was this fucking fake narrative they were pushing out there that she was some sort of underground artist, that she was some struggling up-and-comer just trying to make it, just trying to express herself in music. It's like, hold on. You don't get to find yourself in Berlin, Paris, and London if you're just some struggling undercover uh, underground person. You clearly had the bank of mum and dad, you know, supporting your dreams and allowing you to make mistakes more than most people, which is true, which is, a which is okay. But, but let's not lie. And I feel like that lie is what makes people really uncomfortable. It's pisses what, pe it what pisses some people off. But these guys don't lie. They're like, yes, of course I'm rich. You check my Spotify. You see my monthly listens. You see how booked and busy I am. Of course I'm taking a private jet. I'm playing 10 gigs in one weekend. I can't fly like fucking coach. Who do you think I am? I make money. Clearly. Look at my car. Look at my watch. I actually prefer that. I actually prefer that than pretending to be a blue collar fucking DJ. A working class DJ. I actually prefer that. Show us what you're doing. Show us. Be for real. Stop hiding. some techno first before meeting up with my boy Subtronics to work on our little secret set. Yo, mind if I bring out John, motherfucker, Shit was bonkers. <laughs> look at that crowd. Yeah, look at that crowd. I couldn't imagine anything worse, but they look like they're having an absolute blast. LEDs, lights, phone camera, slash phone camera, lights going all over the place, flags in the air, people probably smashing in the back. Because that's what I saw on social media. For some reason, EDC is the most horniest festival I've seen in my entire life. The amount of clips I've seen on Twitter over the last past couple of days of fucking teenagers, I'm guessing, young people smashing all over the place, eating each other out, sucking each other, licking each other. I'm like, God almighty, how much molly are these guys fucking on? Or is the music that good? What's happening over there? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Then I had my solo set, which was a blast. We choppered out at sunrise just so I could lose all my money at the casino. What a day. 24. <laughs> Look, I love John Summit. He seems like a cool dude, but doesn't he have objectively a very punchable face? Come on. Come on. Come on. Doesn't he have a very punchable face? Objectively speaking. Look at the face from there at the end, going to the fucking casino. Yeah, it's lit. S beers with the lads beers with the boys and then look at the picture of him in bed <laughs> i fucking love it i don't know why these edm djs seem to be more comfortable flaunting their wealth i would love to find out because i feel like them and techno guys make the same money but i love the fact that they do it anyway i love the fact that they do it anyway